Welcome to the shed. I'm Sid, Mackie's on the camera. And today we are going to be installing ride wrap frame protection on my custom painted bike. This video is sponsored by Ride Wrap, so huge shout out to them for supporting this channel and helping me protect my custom paint job. Ride Wrap offers the best coverage on the market and they have custom tailored kits for most of the major bike brands out there. So we were able to get this kit, which is specifically for my Niner Bikes Jet 9 RDO. They also offer a non-custom solution that provides similar protection. The ride wrap film is self-healing, so that means little minor scuffs will come out when the bike gets warm. So like on a hot summer day, it basically smooths back out. It is also somewhat dirt phobic. So everyone says it makes your bike much easier to clean once you have the ride wrap on because the dirt just doesn't stick to your bike. So as far as I'm concerned, less scratches, less dirt. That is definitely a win-win situation. So why might you want to do frame protection? Obviously any scratches on your bike will affect resale value. In this case, I'm never gonna resell this bike. So it is purely to protect the sentimental value of the paint job. Neither of us have ever installed a frame protector. So you will be learning along with us in this video. They have provided really impressive detailed instructions. So. I'm optimistic this is gonna go better than the last time that we tried to install decals on a bike when we almost got divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Not actually, but it was a bad day. For this task, you will need your Ride Wrap Protection Kit, which comes with this little package of installation tools. You will also need a hair dryer, which since our audience is 96% male, that might be kind of hard to come by. I think a heat gun works just as well. A spray bottle full of water. This does not have Windex in it. It has been thoroughly cleaned, so not Windex. Okay, so the very first step, which we have already done, is to thoroughly wash and clean your bike. Ideally, you install Ride Wrap on a new frame. That would be much, much easier, but we didn't do that because I was impatient and wanted to ride my bike. What we have done is we gave the whole bike a nice good bath, then we pulled off the wheels and the cranks, the chain guide, everything else can stay. So this has been hosed down with bike cleaner, but we are still gonna do like a little detail clean with the wipe that is provided. They're saying here you want a clean, well-lit indoor space, minimal dust. <laughs> you don't want your bike to be in direct sunlight. You want temperatures between 17 degrees Celsius and 27 degrees Celsius, so 63 and 80. This is actually why we didn't do this a couple weeks ago because in the winter it was still quite cold in here. The final step, cleaning step, is to wipe the entire frame with the Ride Wrap cleaning wipe. Okay, pre-install cleaning wipe, pre-install cleaning wipe. This is our squeegee. And then I think I'm gonna leave the microfiber towel in there for the moment to keep it as clean as possible until we get to that step. I'm supposed to wash my hands. It's gonna be the cleanest this bike has ever been. And ever will be probably. And ever will be again. I don't know, I'm really banking on the dirt phobic properties of the ride wrap. <laughs> I just never <laughs> have to wash never my hands. wash it again. <laughs> the thing I'm a little concerned about is fingerprints because this blue, like, really shows the fingerprints. I've noticed that like when the bike is clean and you touch it. So that's why you wash your hands really well before you start doing this. But then I guess also you probably are trying not to like touch it like as you're putting it down. This is all numbered with where you start. So we're just gonna kind of review real quick, figure out which piece we're starting. So the first piece is here basically. That's actually on both sides. But then the second piece goes this part, basically. Okay. I think because they're moving around the cable. Well, you gotta start somewhere. Luckily, that's not the most visible part of the bike, so I think they did that on purpose. So explain what the solution is. Well, okay, so this is how you put it on. You like put the stuff on the things. <laughs> By stuff and things, I think you mean you spray the right. water and solution concentrate. On your your protector sticker thing. And then you stick it on and then you squeegee that, the solution out. And that allows you to move the wrap around if you don't get it exactly where you want initially. 
and then as it dries, it adheres to the bicycle. Yeah, to make install a solution, add 0 0.5 milliliters of concentrate to one liter of water. Too much of concentrate makes it hard for edges to adhere. Too little and film adheres faster. It makes it difficult to position pieces and remove air bubbles. This is not a liter. It's two thirds of a liter. So I think three drops should be fine. One, two, three, give or take. Wow, that's so cool. I know, it is really cool that it's just like... Numbered and printed. Spray this whole sheet with solution. This helps with static. Okay, I think this is, it says to cut down on static. I think we have a go with piece one because it's not a super visible spot. So this part. That part goes to the front of the bike. So yeah, this, that, yeah, this so that funny this. shape goes to the front. Right. Yeah. Which is exactly what that looks like. Their diagram is pretty amazing. Pretty good, yeah, no, okay, I know where it goes, I'm just scared. It's not the most stressful thing ever. <laughs> like that, huh? Oh man, how are you supposed to not touch the back of this? Nope. We're going down on that side. <laughs> okay, well, it fits perfectly, so that's amazing. Except. <laughs> so, what's the status? Uh, I wouldn't say we did a spectacular job. We're slowly working the bubbles out. But what they said is if you have bubbles, you basically want to lift the wrap yeah. until you get to those bubbles and then keep working your way. You may need to add more uh, solution. Let me know when you want solution and I'll try not to spray you in the face. Um, maybe we go a little bit right there. Yeah, I could definitely see this is like a bit of a, you know, an art form over a technique. Yeah, this is what they said to worry about if you have too much solution is the edges don't yeah, stick. What they said you can do with that is you use the microfiber cloth to wipe the solution up. They said move on. If it if you come back and they aren't sticking, that's okay. You can still stick them later. So this isn't like a, if it doesn't stick immediately, you're doomed forever. So it looks like this side is doing pretty well. Until you look at it close. I don't know. I mean, I just like don't know what level of of success is actually realistic here. All right, we're just gonna try again. Okay. Give that all a good, see, look how dirty, or is that just the solution at this point? I don't know. Okay, so we start in the middle. Okay, that definitely worked better. That worked way better, yeah. So I would say lots of solution. Yeah, I think we were under solutioning. Yeah. And then working from the middle out. Okay, that, okay, well from like here to here is looking pretty good. Just don't look anywhere else. Chasing the last bubble. <laughs> it wants to go anywhere except out. <laughs> Are you serious right now? There it goes. Nice. Well, that was satisfying. Okay, so first piece, I think we did okay. We just learned some things. We didn't put nearly enough of the solution on to begin with. The other thing that I think I was super hesitant to like chase these bubbles out with the squeegee because if you've ever done custom decals, the stickers were like, they'll get holes. Like you'll bust a hole in it. So, but that does not seem to be happening here. I mean, I'm not saying you should go like, crazy but like you can push pretty hard with the squeegee that they give you like there's no rippage or stretchage or like bad things happening to the wrap so that's kind of what we had to do to get some of those bubbles out because we just did not do an amazing job um, i would say the final thing we learned is that as it dries it looks better i think it's because the solution evaporates out right so there was some solution in there that was making it not look so good 
and I was a little stressed out. We had an off-camera moment. <laughs> so we're gonna proceed on to piece number two. All right, solution me. <laughs> I solution you. I don't know you. what's in this, I'm taking a bath in it. <laughs> okay. The not so great part about two is you can't see what you're doing. I think I've done something wrong if it overlaps by like a millimeter. I would probably try to avoid them overlapping. <sighs> so I guess lesson number whatever this is, four, five. If you have pieces that touch, start on the touching side. You should just start in the middle, babe. Well, no, but like make sure you line up that side. Like you can't even Oh, that tell. looks amazing. You yeah. can't even tell like, it's there. Right, this is what we'll have to sort out with the yeah, microfiber. Yeah. I'm scared of this piece. It's really big and has a lot going on. Okay. Here, look at this with me. The notch goes up, we think. Correct. It goes like that. <sighs> okay. But the good thing is we hopefully have enough solution that she will move. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And then that's like... Yeah, the bigger pieces, definitely a bit harder. What are you doing differently that is working better? More solution, but I'm still getting some bubbles on this one. Like, I don't know how you don't with it being that big. It might be better at this one by fingers than with the squeegee, pushing it over like this. Mm -hmm. Like that. See, I got almost no bubbles on the top here. All right, we're getting better at this, folks. The more solution and the quicker you can kind of like get it in the right spot seems to be better. Okay, we are definitely figuring this out. At this point, we are going to put the camera on a little time lapse and work on it together, which is gonna speed things up a lot. Naki will be my squeegee man. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. The last piece, look how cute it is. <laughs> It's probably entirely unnecessary, but it's this tiny little piece right for there. Like that. Just in case any rock tries to fly up and get it right there. We have now got them all stuck on there. The next step is to take the hairdryer and a little microfiber towel and basically just push down all those edges that we had trouble sticking on earlier. It looks like actually most of them have kind of gone down, but there's a few here that haven't. Wow. This is going, I would say, really well. The hair dryer and the microfiber cloth, we've had no issues smoothing out these corners that didn't stick. So I'd definitely say to err on the side of a lot of solution, because that allows you to get it in the right spot and to get the bubbles out better. And then you can follow up with your towel and the hair dryer or heat gun or whatever to get those corners to stick down later. We also figured out we did have a couple stubborn bubbles, especially in the earlier bits that we did first. We didn't know what we were doing. And we were able to get those out by heating them up with the hairdryer and pushing out with the squeegee. I think heating with the hairdryer allowed the adhesive to like release a little mm -hmm. bit so that you could push the bubble through to the edge. Overall, I would say super pleased with how easy this was. It, it is time consuming. So if you are going to do your own ride wrap, I definitely recommend setting aside some time being patient with it, taking the time to learn the squeegee and, and the technique, because we just got faster and better at it throughout the whole bike. It's a one time per bike task, so take your time, do it right, and then protect your frame pretty much forever. And this is how you install the Ride Wrap Frame Protection Kit in one minute. First step is to clean and dry your bicycle and remove the wheels and cranks. Then open your Ride Wrap Protection Kit and familiarize yourself with all of the included components. Add the install solution concentrate to your spray bottle of water and shake to combine. Take a moment to look at the specific installation order for your protection kit. Then wipe your bike down with the included cleaning wipe and it's time to start installing. 
Spray the entire sheet of wrap as well as your hands with the install solution, then carefully peel the first piece of wrap from the sheet. Spray the back of the wrap piece liberally with install solution and place it on your frame according to the instructions. The solution should allow you to slide the piece around until it is correctly positioned. If not, peel it back off and spray more solution. Once the piece is in the correct spot, start at the middle and using the included plastic tool, carefully squeegee the solution out from under the wrap, making sure not to leave any bubbles. Repeat the process with the remaining pieces of wrap. Once all the pieces are installed, use the plastic tool and included microfiber cloth to press down any edges that aren't sticking. You may need to use a hairdryer to warm the edges to make them stick. If you find any bubbles that you missed, you can use the hairdryer plus the plastic tool to carefully work them out to the edge of the piece. Once you have installed your protection kit, let your frame sit for at least 24 hours before putting your bike back together and riding it.